What's up, y'all? So I did a short on my preview auction, and I figured, you know, let's take a closer look at some stuff so you guys know exactly what's going on in this auction. Coming up today at 5 p.m. Eastern, we got this Jacqueline Kennedy First Lady copper round that's pretty cool we got some more vintage trade units some of the stuff i pulled out of my stack for y'all another trade unit that high relief one i forget the name of that one it has a special name we got this south dakota round this is pretty cool the seal on the back we got that patriot round War two on the back. I got two of these Texas rounds. These are pretty cool. In there, we even have a Silver Shield cannabis round. I actually already have this one, 2021. So that is why it's in the auction. We've got both of the, the Dunes, both houses. You're into, if you're missing one of those in your stack, if you got the collection or you haven't started, I got them both. We got a half ounce polar bear from Canada. And then for you people that like the ship coins, we got the half ouncer Battle of the Coral Sea. Pretty sweet 2015. We got Eric the Blood Axe of the Legendary Warriors. We got Julius Caesar of the same series. We got this newer prospector style round. We also got this Quincentennial. Uh, God, I probably pronounced Texas. <laughs> I probably, probably butchered that one. We got this uh, this two ouncer Morgan style round with the peace dollar style on the other side. Cook's Island, pretty sweet. I guess technically it's not a round. It's actually currency, so it's a coin, right? Yeah, it says twenty dollars on there. Cook's Island. It's actually a coin. We got a twenty twenty three wedge tail eagle. Odin, Asgard on the back, we got the Tree of Life, 2021 from Nui, we got the 2012 Year of the Dragon round, we got, we got the uh, Jurassic Park with the Privy, I don't know if that's unusual or not. Uh, Fiji 2022. We've got the Haley Bug. For those that, I guess it's kind of like a Texas. So I always think when I see this one. I already have this one. Picked that up for a pretty good price. So I figured I'd share it with you all. And then at the local coin shop, I got some barbers. Barber Dimes, in case anybody's looking for a Barber Dime. If they don't sell, I'll just stick them with my Barber Dimes. No problem. But I figured I'd give you guys a shot. So the other one was this 1916. You got the 1911D. And then you got the 1906D as well. And then I even have a barber half for anybody looking for that. 1907. And then we got some bars. You got just some generic buffalo bar. You got the sunshine minting. We got another sun, uh, silver town. We got the year of the dog. That's not a coin. It's definitely around, even though it's bar shaped. We got the Royal Canadian Mounted Police vintage. At least I believe that's vintage. Sure looks vintage to me. And you got this the general, this train. Vintage bar. We got 
the Spirit of St. Louis. Oh, holy smokes, five and a quarter. Whoa, that was a cheap piece of silver. That is not what I paid, y'all. <laughs> we got this Christmas bar from 86. I thought this was pretty cool. I actually pulled this out of a deep stack. And that is a Canadian. Something of Canada. I'll look at that closer next time when we have it up in the auction. And then we got some more. We got the Silvertown. Different Silvertown bar. We got this cool Silvertown vintage bar. Got another Silvertown vintage bar. I really like this one. And then we got this vintage bar. Serialized 32306. Cool. And we got so uh, we got a one and a half ounce Canadian. I don't know what it's called. It's got like an eagle on the front. And then we've got this other one and a half ouncer. I'm sorry, one and a quarter ouncer buffalo. Canadian buffalo. And then this thing is sick. This is sterling silver. I believe it weighs about 66 grams. It's the Bobcat American Wildlife Collection. So somebody looking for something unique. There you go. Very merry finish on that. Then this is actually the Nine Finds Mint two ounce alien chip spinner. It's like a spinner. I you going to need to look this up. I don't want to take it out of the original packaging, but this is the only way to see it is to do that. So I might try to print off a picture of it or something and have that available for you guys to see what it looks like. Um, most of you may know. It's pretty easy to find that one out. And then you've got this uh, East Indian Company trade dollar from 2019. I thought this thing was killer. You don't see these very often. High premium on that bad boy, though. Uh, you got an 82 Prospector, first year. Bull Privy, I guess is what they call that. And then you've got right here the key date, 1983 Prospector, y'all. Super toned up. I don't know if that's natural or not, but it is. That's pretty sick. Anybody that's looking to complete their collection probably needs this key date. I got a sweet deal on it. So she's going to start off really low, um, but, you know, there might be some battling for that one. And then we got the Castronomics. We got the proof of the Sempre 420, number 100 out of 420. We got the antique version of that Sempre 420. This is number 46 out of 420. Super, super cool. And then you've got the Panda OG Antique. And I believe this mintage is, uh, oh yeah, 1,000. On the mintage of this one. I don't know if it's numbered, to be honest with you. I don't believe so. I'll double check that. And then last but not least, we've got we've got a bunch of, uh, well, I, don't, I mean, as of right now, Constitutional is all quarters. Washington quarters. And I think I've got about, Ten dollars. I'll double check that for you. And it consists of you know just random years and stuff, but there's some interesting ones in here. Um, like this '58 is really shiny. I don't know if it was a proof or somebody cleaned it or what. But you even have in here '95 S proof. So this is actually silver, y'all. That's in there really matters to anybody but yeah she's in there as well so yeah that's it you know we got uh, we got quite the spread so hope to see you all at 5 p.m eastern for this uh this auction and hey i'm gonna probably pick up some stuff today if i find anything good we'll have some more so what we're missing right now is the heavy weight i don't have any five or ten ounces only two two ounces but hey it is what it is um, we'll see if we can snag anything more today to add to the to the auction. But we got a decent amount of stuff. So once again, thanks y'all for watching. Appreciate it. And like I said, 
You got that 83 prospector, y'all. Don't miss out on that. They don't come around very often at the price I'm going to be put, putting them up at. Probably just about never. All right, y'all. Thanks again. Uh, like, subscribe, share it out. See you at 5 p.m. Eastern. All right, later, y'all.